quick photo shoot. So let's go. A few other countries training. So, uh, top level balance. Uh, she messaged her. Really good match against a rest day and Max. So it's Monday the 8th of May. Um, we are traveling out to China on Wednesday morning um, with the rest of the English team. And I'm just about to attempt some packing. I like to think of myself as quite a good packer, but this trip, um, so we start with the Sudium and Cup where we're traveling on Wednesday. So we're there for about a week and a half. And we're going on to do four more tournaments around Asia. So we're pretty much on the road for the best part of six weeks, um, which is the longest trip I've ever done. Um, so this is the beginning. So some of Max's stuff here, some of my stuff here. Supplements, shoes, all sorts of bits and bobs. So we are one day out from travel and we just have a quick photo shoot this afternoon uh, for the wonderful Yonex. Um, so yeah, just doing, we've got Sean in at the moment, doing his blessed blue steel look and the rest of the team waiting in the wings. So we are on the plane. We've hit the jackpot. I'm supposed to sit here. We've got a full aisle between the two of us, which is a very, very big win. This is a 12 and a half hour flight as well, so it's going to be a disaster. A few other sort of long haul things that I do. Bring a moisturizer, massive bottle of water. Again, just nasal spray, hand sanitizer, noise cancelling headphones. So we have safely made it to Suzhou. Um, we checked in earlier, I've had a shower, had a bit of a sleep which is very hard to wake up from with the time difference. But this is the view. We've got a golf course here, which is really cool. Like I say, we've unpacked because personally I settle in a lot better, a lot better when my stuff's kind of neatly unpacked so I'm not living out of a suitcase. Um, but the room's really nice. Massive bathroom, double sink, shower there, toilet there. Uh, and one of my favorite little touches in the room is these little sort of shower shoes that they've provided. They are very, very comfy. So I might just be spending my week in these. Time for a group gym. We've got our physio and head of performance. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, mobility and activation today. What? Why are we doing? Why? To reset off the travel. Lower body, lower body focus today. From lots of sitting. So let's go. So today we have a gap in matches. So it's just a training day. We had four hours on one court for England today. So we split that the first two hours for doubles, second two hours for singles. Good morning's work so far. And just enjoying watching a few other countries training. We've got Taipei behind me there. And on that court, I think we've got Malaysia over there. You can see Tia's bright red hair. Uh, Malaysia women on there and our guys are down on this court here. So they have also set up a gym at the venue. So we've got some cardio machines in here, a couple of bikes. Uh, but if you follow me through here, that's the practice hall there. If you follow me through here, we've actually got a full weights gym. So we've got a Smith machine, loads of dumbbells, some more weights here, uh, a couple of leg machines. So really good, especially at, for those guys that are traveling on to Malaysia and tournaments after that, it's really important. We keep ourselves strong and in shape for the, the coming weeks. And so yeah, oh there he is again, still eating. <laughs> so there is actually a food area in the players lounge uh, at the arena, which is very good because as athletes, always looking for food. Um, they've provided a few snacks, so bananas, my worst nightmare, some crackers, some breads, um, some nuts tea, coffee, and then some pot noodles and some hot water. Here's Marcus Ellis tucking into his pot noodle. I know. How is it? Tasty. Tasty. So it is Saturday. We've been here a few days now, just about getting over the jet lag, um, but we've just had our main hall practice time. Um, but gonna get a few thoughts on the arena. Hi. How are we liking the arena? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like it. I think it'd be really nice to play in. Yeah. And I'm sure it'll be a really nice atmosphere as well. It's a really, it's very intimate, I think. It's very nice. So it is game day. We have our match at five o'clock tonight. So we've just come to the gym. Max is on the bike. I'm doing a bit of shadow and um, just to sort of wake the body up and get primed for later. A few of our team have also gone down to do a bit of hitting. Uh, but as I will be playing two matches this evening, I thought it was best to just stick to the gym, uh, make sure I'm ready but well rested uh, for a busy evening. So yeah, excited for the match.
So I've learned something new about you this trip, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. That one of your idols is here. Do you want to tell us, tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, so I've looked up to Mia Blickfeld since I was probably about 12. Um, she's always been my favourite. I feel like I resonate, resonate quite well with her game. Nice. Um, and yeah, I just, I think she's just really cool. And really there was amazing. a big moment here this week, wasn't there? Yep, Lauren set me up. <laughs> may have set her up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, she messaged her saying, um, can I have a photo? So we got together this morning and had a little discussion. She's lovely, isn't she? She's really nice. Yeah. So we're nearly at the end of the trip. Um, how has your first experience playing in Asia been? Yeah, it's been very good, very eye-opening. Um, it's good to see the top level badminton in person. It's quite cool to see all the all my favourite players just strolling around the hotel. Nice. Are you feeling inspired? Very much so. Very, very much, much so. so. Yeah. And um, you played the match against Korea, had a good women's doubles there. How was that? Yeah, I think, um, again, it was good to actually play against top level. I don't do that very often. That was probably the first time in doubles that I've done that. So, um, yeah, it was good, I think. Some good rallies in there. Um, and also highlighted areas that I need to improve on. So, it's good. So, day after your first cap, yeah. um, really tough match against Japan, but a really good game from you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, and surprise fans in the crowd, wasn't there? I know, it was, a, it was a shock to see my dad and my sister there. I mean, <laughs> it, was a, it was an amazing surprise. And, uh, I'm glad they came, definitely helped me a bit in the match. It was very hard, but you know, it was always lovely to see them. Yeah, very cool. I mean, long way for them to come, but um, nice to have them there for that moment. Yes, definitely. So, really good match against Toma Popov the other day. Uh, do you want to talk us through it a bit? Um, yeah, I was very, very pleased with my performance, especially considering my first match against Korea. I struggled, like, getting used to the hall and, like, my lifts were not, not great. But then against Popov, I was able to relax and just enjoyed my time on court. And you gave him a really tough, tough time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So today we have a rest day and Marcus and I have decided that we want to make the most of these wonderful locations that we get to come to. So we jumped on the train and we are in Shanghai. Um, so this is a really beautiful little area that we found. Well, very busy. We're not the only ones that have found it. Um, but it's just beside the Yew Gardens. And so it's this really authentic um, old part of the city. Uh, here we have the oldest tea room in Shanghai. And in contrast to that, right there, is the third tallest building in the world, just actually still in the clouds. Um, so it's been a really cool experience to come here and just sort of get a bit of a taste of the city. So just pack in, got the quarterfinals on TV. And here, <laughs> can't even fit it in the shot. That is what, 10 days? Nine, 10 days worth of kit. 20 kilos of the smelliest clothes you could possibly come across. Oh. You feel a bit toxic. If someone opens this, opens our bag and checks through customs, they're going to be in for a real smelly treat. But so it's very early. I am at Shanghai Airport, um, which is a bit of a ghost town. None of the restaurants are open. Uh, it is still about two and a half hours before our flight. But we are heading on to KL. So myself, Marcus, Chloe, Benchon, and Ju heading on. Uh, we're playing the Malaysia Open, which is exciting. So at the end of our Sudan Cup journey, um, it's been a really good sort of 10 days out here in China. Um, you know, lots to learn, lots to build on. Um, and yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what's gone on. Uh, and I'll see you again soon.